In 2008, a family fled from Germany to Tennessee after they were fined for homeschooling their kids in Germany. Five years later, their asylum claim was denied, claiming they weren't persecuted. But they were told their stay was indefinite. Now, after 15 years of making the United States their beloved home, they are facing deportation. Uva and Hanalore Ramke join us along with Kevin Bowden, an attorney with the U.S. Home School Legal Defense Association. Thank you all for being here. Uva, let me start with you. Um, you claimed asylum because homeschooling is illegal in Germany, correct? And you've been homeschooling here in the United States ever since. That's correct, yes. And we were actually granted asylum first by the immigration judge here in the United States. And you, and, and Hannah Laura, you made home in, in Tennessee. You've thrown roots down there. Um, and when did this notice come that your family is going to be deported? Um, this month, on the 6th, we were there in Knoxville uh, at the office, and uh, yes, and then we got this notification, the order for removal. So, so Kevin, help me out here. Um, we're seeing record numbers of illegals race across our southern border, most of which are claiming, loosely claiming some sort of a need for asylum. Yet your clients clearly because of their beliefs, want to homeschool in a country that allows it, and Germany does not. How, how do, square that circle for me. Well, thanks, B. Thanks for having me. What I can say is the Romica family has entered the country lawfully. They've been here lawfully for 15 years. Yes. They want to stay here lawfully, and there's a way to make that happen. So this is not a case other than a family following the rule of law, which is what we have in the United States, as you well know, and wanting to continue to follow, follow the rule of law to stay here. And so... Uh, the Biden administration can make that happen. Uh, the agencies can make it happen, and we're asking them to simply do just that. Uva, why you guys? Why were you chosen for deportation at this point? What are they telling you? Well, the thing is, they did not tell us anything. Uh, we don't really know why. We wonder that ourselves because we cannot understand. Uh, Hannah Lore, if you were returned to Germany and you wanted to continue to homeschool, what would happen? And the laws there hadn't changed, and um, so we would face the, sa the same persecution as we did back then. So, so homeschooling is totally illegal in Germany? You can't do it? Yes, it is illegal. It is illegal. Uh, how does that not qualify as an asylum claim, Kevin, as their attorney? I mean, how, how can you fight this at this point? Well, you know, the, the original immigration judge did find that it was, you know, there was a proper asylum claim. They found that the Romica family did have a well-founded fear of persecution based on their, you know, participation in a particular social category, that being homeschoolers. You know, the Obama administration appealed that uh, to the Board of Immigration Appeals. Uh, that appeal court agreed with them, as did the Sixth Circuit, and the Supreme Court denied it. So, you know, we agree with you. We think this is, in fact, uh, an asylum case. We do think they have a well-founded fear. As we testified, you know, organization testified to that back um, when this was ongoing before the trial court. And I mean, I can tell you today, I, I talk to families today that have fear in Germany and, you know, the, the fight there, the persecution there is very real as it is, you know, today, as it was 15 years ago. Well, Uva and Hanalore, I hope you keep us posted. I mean, we're pulling for you. You've clearly got a, a, a real good attorney here. Uh, we Wish you the best in this fight. And you came here the right way. You want to stay here for the right reasons. Our government should have your back in that process. So please do keep us posted. God bless you. Thanks for being here. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank By the way, be. thank you, Kevin. Uh, we reached out to ICE, uh, the ones that are not deporting, lots of illegals that are coming here uh, for a statement and have not heard back yet. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmeade. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.